This Sharp GF9797 has developed another problem. I turned it on the other day because I wanted to double check everything again before I get rid of it because I've got so many boom boxes that I'm basically running out of running out of space. So I decided to turn it on and I noticed there was nothing coming out of the loudspeakers. And normally this little LED power LED comes on when you hit here the power switch and there was nothing and also the radio in there didn't work anymore since it was getting some kind of power here I suspected that some of the B plus voltage was there but other parts of it was basically missing so I decided to trace from the power supply basically the power supply I decided to trace through the power supply and then check out where it was being distributed so I started by checking where the the DC voltage leaves the power board here and I actually I'm using my old analog meter since my other one is, has such a low quality my digital voltmeter that it actually broke and once I checked the DC supply voltage is coming from the power board that was going over to this here this I think this is called the amp board and I noticed that this connector here is supposed to have voltage on it. It actually goes to the goes up to the power switch and it didn't have anything. Once I I put the here's the I've got the voltmeter on it now. Nothing. Zero. And basically I noticed that here this connector here, this goes to the microprocessor board and I knew that the light was on up there so something was getting through and when of course I checked right here it was um, basically okay again so my next step was since I didn't have any voltage leaving this pin going up to the power switch um, I trace the rest of the way and I notice that basically what happens is the voltage goes through this thing right here this is a what's called a fusible resistor and I've got something on one side we can see here again um, now I'm touching to the other side and you get exactly nothing so I then shut the power off, pulled the cord, and I decided to measure this thing. So I have the service manual, and the service manual says that this fusible resistor is supposed to have actually 4 ohms. And let me short out my leads. But when I put it on here... It's like it seems like to be a lot more than four ohms so so basically I am reading now I am reading 30 kilo ohms 30,000 ohms which is like way too high for some reasons or another this thing has changed value um, so what I am going to do now is I have a donor boom box and I am going to pull the fusible resistor out of that because I think this would be quite hard to get nowadays since it's 4 ohms I don't think there's that much of a voltage drop um, it's probably going to be minimum I probably could get away with, um, let's say, soldering a fuse in there or something. 
I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to bridge it with just a piece of wire because um, it is a it is an actual safety feature. Now, in order to remove the fusible resistor, I'm going to either have to cut this off here and then solder the new one in, or remove the complete different boards which are all tied together and I think that's like a bunch of a bunch of um, screws but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and try to remove the whole um, whole circuit board assembly which includes the tuner board I think up here is the display board and here's the I guess you would call it the preamp board and right here I think this piece here is called the amp board and I was able to make out like five screws which hold this assembly there's a screw right here where my finger is and right there and there's one back there and one there and one even in the corner there so those need to come out too so the first five screws have been removed and now I'm going to tackle the preamp board which has a screw here there and it looks like these screws got to come out too so that's four right there it looks like I did forget one screw on the preamplifier board there's a screw hidden right underneath these wires next come two screws on the tuner board so looks like everything is ready to come out here yep I'm hoping I can get to the I can do the soldering without um, you're having to unsolder the antenna wire but I'm not sure yet okay looks like I got just enough room I didn't have to unsolder anymore I didn't have to unsolder the antenna wire and I've got just enough room to get into here so I'm going to unsolder this and then take the donor box apart too and put everything back together and then see if it works now I'm actually working on the donor unit I just figured out I could actually lay the whole thing down and I've got this solder sucker device it is um, I would say not ideal I think I'm gonna get myself a desoldering station to make life easier so I've actually got the uh, good fusible resistor out of the circuit and now I am going to test it looks like it's got about 4.6 ohms I think it was either 4 ohms or 4.7 ohms so basically you can say that's correct okay I put everything back together now I've got the loudspeakers here hooked up before when I hit the power button nothing happened I couldn't get any radio or anything and of course I replaced that um, fusible resistor I have no idea why it went bad now whether it's uh, it had just changed value over the years I don't know everything um, I would be taking a wild guess let me okay it's it's working now I don't have a station locked in but I can hear the static so I would venture to say the unit is repaired now I have to put the cassette mechanism back in of course 